In this video, we are going to take a look at guides, and guides can be used for a number of different ways, for aligning things, for allowing you to snap to them with selections and shapes, and they work really good with things like web design where you're going to be creating slices, but you can create some non-destructive guides first and uh, help align up your image and move the guides around and then use those in your projects. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. We have a couple options if we click on view, you can see uh, that we can go to show. You can see that we have uh, smart guides here. And the smart guides is what you see whenever you see the purple lines popping up around your document. So if I create a shape and then I move that shape around, we see these smart guides popping up and they are these uh, purple lines that are helping guide us and tell us where things are centered on the document based on just different pixel information that uh, Photoshop is picking up. So we'll go ahead and we'll just delete that. Um, we also have the ability uh, to do different things with guides. So we have here lock guides, clear guides, clear selected artboard guides, canvas guides, a new guide, a new guide layout, and new guides from shapes. If I click on the new guide, it will bring up this dialog box here and we can say where we want the guide to be. So here you can see our horizontal or vertical. We'll do it vertically. It'll be a vertical guide and we can say the position. So if we just put in say 100 pixels and hit OK, what happens is it creates this blue line. Now this blue line is a guide and it helps me allow to uh, line up things to this so I could use the slice tool to snap to this guide or I can use selection tools if we go to view and you go to snap to you will see that uh, guides is currently selected so we can snap to these guides when we're using something like a selection tool or a shape tool you can see it's trying to snap directly to that guide so that gives us an easy way to create these and use those for aligning things in our document. Now if you want to move the guide you can click on the move tool and you'll get a double arrow when you hover over it and then you can actually slide this guide around. So that allows us to really line up exactly where we want these guides to land in our document. Now we can also go down and we can create a new guide and this time we'll do a horizontal so we'll say 250 pixels and it drops one there. So now we have two guides that we can snap to. So it's going to give us the ability to really uh, make some great alignments and you can put in as many of these as you want. So we'll just go and do another one at say 500 and then we can start uh, creating guides for this document. So we can lock those guides. Uh, if we go ahead and hit Alt, Control, and the semicolon, or the option Command, semicolon, it'll lock those guides down so now I can't move them and I have to work with those guides there. I can also turn off the snapping as I showed you. So if we go Snap to and we click on the Guides button, when we do a selection, it won't snap to those guides immediately. So that might be something that you need to see those guides, but you don't want to snap to them. Then we can clear the guides. So if we hit clear guides, it will remove them for us. And we also have uh, a new guide layout. So if we click on that, this is commonly used in web design work where you have borders and a number of columns or rows that you're working on. So this makes a nice even subdivided layout with eight columns, a gutter of 20 pixels, and you can put in different margins, you can add rows, you can center the columns, and you can clear any guides that you already have and use these. You'll see web designers use these a lot. So whenever you're doing any type of web design layout, responsive design layout, out and you need to have these types of columns that you're used to using, you can use this new guide layout system that Adobe Photoshop has. It makes it really nice. You can also load and save presets or delete any presets for if you create your own columns and you want to save those out, you can. And then you can create a custom preset and then save that. So we'll go ahead and cancel that out. And then we have new guides from shapes. So you can actually create a shape and then it will create a guide from that shape. So if I were to create the shape here and then go to new guides from shape, you can see that it's created guides up against the borders of that shape. So that's another way that we can create guides that might be very useful to you. And then finally, if you want to just go ahead, let me clear these out. 
If we want to go ahead and create guides while we're working, something else that you can do is you can show the rulers and you'll have your horizontal and vertical rulers. And if you click out into the ruler and then drag, it'll bring a guide in automatically for you. So instead of having to go and click on new guide each time, this is a much faster way to come in here and start dry, dropping out some of these guides that you need to use. So very easily I can come in here bring out my guides, select my move tool, and then move those around. And then if I get a certain setup that I like, then I can go ahead and save that out as a guide layout. So that is guides. Hopefully that helps you out, especially if you're like a web designer or a graphic designer and you need guides to work. This is a very useful tool, and I hope that gives you information on how to use those in Photoshop.